Scale is something worthy of your contemplation. If you look into a dense patch of grass, really stare into it, you'll notice an entirely other world from the one you occupy. It's filled with insects, root systems, particles of dirt. It's a place that you are almost entirely cut off from, simply because the size at which you live your daily life is so dramatically different. If you were to shrink down to the size of an ant, blades of grass would become overwhelming towers, and the distance from the sidewalk to your front porch would feel like miles. And then if you stood up and looked out at a field, you'd start to realize just how big the world of the tiny actually is. This is the world you currently occupy. And if you zoom out of that and look at the world at the scale of a planet, we become like the ants again. It seems that when we zoom in or out, a sense of harmony and pattern emerges. Each scale is a different world with different rules. On the atomic and subatomic level, things seem to behave mechanically in ways totally alien to the ways we observe in our world. At the level of cells and at the level of insects, the inner mechanics of the natural world are revealed. On the level of great technological giants, of skyscrapers, of cities, there is a world of steel, engineering, and the wonders of human achievement. On the geographical level, there are mountains, canyons, deserts, and on a universal level, things behave once again in an alien way, where matter, energy, time, and distance exist and interact in ways so extreme that we can never fully wrap our minds around them. It is these worlds that drive our fascination with scale, that beckon us to learn more, that beckon us to wonder about those unimaginable things that are billions of times smaller or bigger than us. And while the worlds of the very small are certainly worthy of exploration, the worlds that interest me the most, the ones I know more about, and the ones I wish to explore in this video, are those just outside our narrow human scale. Those which cannot be accessed with a microscope, but by vehicles. Or if you are so willing, by your own two feet, and enough time. Those worlds which seem to have captivated civilization for millennia. Those worlds of dizzying heights, power, prestige, achievement, and wonder. Those worlds that are just so gargantuan they can hardly be imagined. Take a journey with me through the unfathomable.